and welcome to today's Go Market update with me, Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets. It's the 30th of August, and let's see what's happening in the news today. Of course, overnight, US markets continue their slide downwards with follow through after Friday's aggressive Fed news. However, the futures were pointed to a slightly weaker session, so perhaps that is one of the reasons why we're seeing both the US futures mildly positive in early trading and Asian indices ignoring that weaker US lead. We are seeing across the board small gains in Asia with the ASX up around a half of 1% in early trading. European futures are also suggesting a mildly positive open. The US dollar index paused at 20 year highs. Gold is holding on to that key 1735 support level. We did see oil edge higher again and it's moved over $100 a barrel. And one wonders whether we might see it back up at 110 if this buy-in momentum continues. Copper was testing support at 360 but managed to hold on to it and is trading in between that 360 and 370 range. It's been in now for a couple of weeks. And the VIX also paused its move higher. It's trading just below that key 25 level and around the 200 EMA, which is technically important, of course. We saw Bitcoin selling off after the weekend uh, but it managed yesterday to recover to some degree to edge back over 20,000. But that still looks pretty precarious at this stage. On the data front, we've got Japanese employment numbers warmer than expected already released into the market. Later on, we've got European consumer confidence and German CPI this afternoon and this evening, US consumer confidence and housing data. But of course, it is the first week of the month that we're coming into. And so we have got US jobs to start the ADP number tomorrow, then weekly jobs on Thursday and the non-farm payrolls on Friday. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye this morning. On the FX front, we're going to just check in on the Euro Aussie. We're seeing some buying going on again today. Uh, we did have some yesterday and then a, a pullback in the Euro. But this looks as though it's interesting. So... In the first instance, for those of you who are trading very short term time frames, there's possibly a 47 pip move up to retest the highs from yesterday. As you see there, around about that 145.50 level. That's possibly the first port of call. Also look to the downside. We're seeing a little bit of weakness over the last hour or so. If we do start to test 144.63, uh, we could see a little bit of a sell-off going on as well. So it's one to watch. The next couple of hours could be interesting. It might even be that German CPI number, which is the critical data point, which is of interest. On the ASX, we saw lithium stocks looking weaker yesterday, but recovering towards the back end of the session. And we're just checking in on AKE. And you can see there, trading towards the highs of the session. This is a key level. It's broken through at $14. And that looks good to go even higher in terms of where this sits, the reason $14 is important is because that was tested back earlier in the year, as we can see in this chart here. So one to watch if this buy momentum continues over the coming days. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.